You hear us? I guess not. It's crazy because it has like this like um weird rotating halo. <laughs> yeah. yeah That's pretty cool. It's definitely crazy. Someone definitely smoked DMT and said, hey, I'm going to make this avatar. <laughs> It's definitely a DMT avatar. Can you hear us within that? I have a feeling like he's muted or something. Man, I was stuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought was happening. <laughs> I was stuck the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what did we miss? What did we miss? <laughs> no, that's important, but I was what is that soon? I was telling you that it was weird. I was already here uh -huh. earlier, and I lost connection. And, and yeah, yeah. Then, I don't know. <laughs> something, mm -hmm. something weird. I'm here. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. earlier too. It, I guess we were all trying to get in at the same time because it took forever to load. Like I had to like try it like three times. It was weird. Really? Yes, but yeah. the 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 room also is like at its limit. You know, oh, what? Well, yeah, because of like everything that's in here. Huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So uh, it yeah. takes a long time to load. Uh, but once the load uh, is loaded, uh, it works very, very good. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, that's cool in here. It doesn't glitch or anything. That's fine. It's smooth. <laughs> so what's been going on um, with your um, music and your your new um, album? A lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, the digital version, the NFT version, the vinyl with uh, exclusive mandala version. Yeah. The, <laughs> the oh, NFT that. with with exclusive mandala unique cover. You know the cover. Uh, each 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 cover will be unique with a, a mandala made out of, of works from from everybody. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when yeah. When is the when is the release date? Uh, uh, not sure yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That will be announced very soon. I hope so. Yeah, that's a lot going on. I'm I'm working on this. I have like this club. It's called. Uh, well, it's not. I have. You know, that's a mistake. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it. Like, you know, here in Costa Rica, is at least at, at, at this part. You know, like all my partners in this club, like uh, for jamming uh, music and arts and mm -hmm. everything, uh, it's super, you know, every, everyone is super uh, self sovereign, you know, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> so it's very nice because everyone just came here and put. What they have and it's a very good moment so yeah that's going on also and rehearsals with the band with the within the vacuum life project oh yeah yeah uh, also yeah that's oh yeah yeah that was crazy but yeah uh, a lot of, a lot of things going on hell yeah that's cool um <laughs> so with the the within the vacuum uh, live um project are, are you guys getting ready to play some pl places around there or what yeah yeah i think we're gonna play here yeah sorry guys i'm just gonna pay here uh, i'll be right back yeah so what were you saying sorry oh yeah i think you had to go and do something uh no the yeah yeah we we want to play here. I, I was just talking with the guys, and yeah, we want to play here and and then move. 
mm -hmm. three rounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but the release of the EP, I think it will be around uh, July. Okay. End of July, something like that. Yeah, that sounds cool. With this James uh, uh, Expo and all of that, I mm. think we can we can join that. Well, we'll, we'll yeah, when's that? Uh, that's July twenty. Okay. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's this in Spain, right? Or whatever. No, this is Paris. Oh, okay, Paris. Yeah, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, now I remember. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like a blockchain. Uh, yeah, like conference or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's Impact uh, Blockchain Conference. Okay, okay. Twenty-three speakers and partners, and she was asking me, we want to participate, like uh, with the NFT, uh -huh. to to engage, and. Also, she was asking me about music because I share with her also the same music? file. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that would be cool that that music is an NFT. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but yeah. I really don't know which platform could be good to do that. Well, like well, to, to make it an NFT, but also get into a good marketplace yeah you know um she was she she used a different platform i forgot where she put her nft when she did their solar thing we should we should talk because i think <laughs> yeah i think her and um what what do you call it um let the know a little bit more about like cool i mean that kind of stuff um but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm in contact with Letty all the time. Uh, yeah. But also Jane. Yeah. So, yeah. They know how. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally. I don't know anything. You know, I'm just. Uh, you know, doing what you told me, like, you're preparing the, the band camp and all of that. Mm -hmm. Today, today I was trying audios. Okay. Yeah. You can, you cannot set it up on private mode. Oh, you can't. You have to. <laughs> so it was p published already. So I have to delete it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, they they don't have that. I, I uh, have to, I have to say something about it in the Discord. Actually. Yeah. So. Th Okay. It's very important, you know, like to 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 upload it and have it there private. Yeah. Share before. Yeah, before you release it. Everyone. Or... So that was the audience. So what, uh, oh, hey, hey, what's uh, up, Eclipse? Eclipse. Nice colors. You you use audience, Eclipse. right? Or you have used audience? Rocky. And you use Rocky, right? Eclipse have. I hear you guys so low, man. I don't know why. Oh yeah. Really? That's weird. I can hear everybody all right. I was hearing you guys fine, and then I left, and I came back, and it's really low. I mean, my volume's at the max. So. The cable on the quantum level. The cables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really the gremlins. Cool. Gremlins in the machine. Like what? Yeah. The gremlins in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> but I was asking you about like your experience um, putting music on uh, like uh, Audius and Rocky. Are you, are you still using them? Me? Yeah. Um, I haven't particularly liked Audius. Uh huh. I haven't been there in a while. I think last time I went was like maybe a month and a half ago. I don't think that you can mint NFTs yet. Maybe on Solana, but definitely not on Ethereum. Okay. Uh, what I see a lot of musicians doing, because I I do kind of hang out with like 
a community of Latin American musicians uh -huh. that are in like the Web3 space and like all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, they're using Lens. Lens. Uh, okay. Which is it's an interesting protocol. If you guys want to take a look at that, uh -huh. there, are, there are different apps there. It's basically on Polygon. Uh, it uses Matic. It has a whole bunch of stuff. It has like a social media, it has like nice. a YouTube type, and all of them involve NFTs. Like your post can be bought and sold. You know? mm -hmm. It's it's interesting. Hey, thank you so much, man. Take care. All right, it's getting my food. <laughs> uh, but it's an interesting protocol, man. It's just uh, it's hard to get a handle. Uh, but I may be able to get a couple of handles, but I think you need a, a Twitter account. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, what's interesting is that, let's say I use one of the social media apps that are there to upload a video. It appears on the video app. And the, the followers that you have are across the apps. Oh, okay. It's like uh, people follow you at the protocol level. Uh huh. Uh, instead of like a, in a specific app. So like if somebody follows me at the you know on the social media app, uh huh. They're also following me on the. On oh, the, the video one. Video app, you know, like uh, okay. because it's a, so like the. Yeah. The social graph is like across apps. I, it's yeah. kind of interesting, different. Uh, there's a lot of uh, ways of uh, monetizing. They have different ways of monetizing. Uh, and the fact that you can set it so, so like people have to pay you once if they want to follow you, for example. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Uh, only people that follow you can collect your stuff, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I find it interesting. They're liking it. Uh, I don't. Uh, I haven't played enough with it. I just kind of like took a look at it. Mm -hmm. But I definitely see a lot of people using like uh, an app called Riff. Like a uh, riff.xyz. Okay. Uh, and it mints your your audio, you know. Okay. But it will appear on the other stuff. You know, you could collect it on the social media app. Or, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, but uh, different. Uh, I've I've been trying to get uh, a person there to get me handles so I can bring everybody. <laughs> Because uh, I do want to spread spread the mines underground everywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. Um, yeah, I I, I I looked in I looked into lens. I think I got it like on the waiting list, but then like I forgot about it. I don't know if I ever got a handle or not. Um, I don't, you know I just kind of like forgot about it. But it was it's like a. I mean, first started off, I think, like as like a, a Twitter, like yes. protocol, right? Yeah. Well, the the first app that you know was Lenster. It's like a Twitter, but it has has a little bit more functionality, uh -huh. I think, because I mean you you can collect things, but there are multiple social media apps. There's gonna be multiple video apps, you know. Like they just each display different. Uh, and then I think what's coming is you remaining exclusive to one app or something. So like, mm. don't let people, don't letting, like not letting people from other apps collect. I don't know. Music is getting traction there. That's kind of why they're. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why. True yeah so if you just google lens protocol uh and then go to like their app section there's a ton of apps but you have to get a handle so yeah you, you might have to like 
get on a waiting list or, or something like that. You know, the, the, I'm on the same boat. I'm on the same boat. I don't know where to yeah, the pop- make my music. Yeah. Uh, you know, like my videos, I'm going Joystream because I've staked there. I have a lot of tokens, you know, it's yeah. worth it for me. And I also really like that they're going for the decentralized storage part. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and, um, and I can stake my... Just like you stake ETH, for example, like I can do that there. Okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm just earning interest there. I, I'm not doing anything, and every day I'm making tokens. I mean, if you put an NFT up there now, you'll sell it for sure. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, uh, it's getting cool. better. It's getting better. They what, just what listed the Joystream. I think you oh, uploaded yeah. there once. Yeah. But you uploaded I, during testnet. Yeah, you had. Yeah, I have. I have a profile there. I yeah. I don't think it exists anymore because uh, you guys were there during testnet. Yeah. It, it launched after. No. So like all of, everything. Yeah, everything gets delayed, deleted. If anybody sold an NFT, those were test tokens. Like nobody, that wasn't worth. It. <laughs> so... But if you guys, I mean, I think Satori D, you you already went on mainnet, right? Like, yeah, you know, I'm on oh, the shit, the crypto cool. the crypto one. I forgot whatever it's called. Well, Joystream is also across apps, so like, okay, yeah. there's going to be multiple apps built there. Yeah. And the content goes across apps. Yeah, I noticed uh, that. So it, like, like, yeah, it got published on that one and a different one too. There's one called L1, like layer one, uh-huh. L1 dot media. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the general content one. But that one still a little behind. The main one, I mean, the first product that launched was the crypto one. Uh-huh. But they have YouTube program similar to like what mines had remember like you could just like upload to youtube and up, up, it uploads yeah and it automatically upload. to mines you can do that there you can just authorize so that every time you upload to youtube it goes there uh-huh. but once there you can mint as an nft if you want or you can just upload directly so that it's exclusive as an nft and there's no youtube copy you know. But if you don't want to mint, you know, if there are videos that you don't want to mint, for example, you, like you, you'll make tokens right now uh, within the vacuum. If you upload videos there, let me know, man. I'm giving out love. I'm giving out tokens. Yeah. I, I just want. So, I, don't want to, I don't want to be there by myself. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start. I gotta start Everywhere. putting some of the the uh, dude where's my wallet stuff. <laughs> because that's so yeah, cool <laughs> and i've been in meetings with them and like now we're, we're talking about you know giving creators grants it's, it's oh cool cool you know it's in a way it's decentralized but you know like now that i'm experienced this it feels really centralized <laughs> the markets you know like you you can you cannot just say like put, I, I just put an nft out there it's just you know like not in a just something public you know like to put nfts to mint it <laughs> yeah there's some like uh, for example the lens thing is like okay you need a handle right yeah. Uh, you have to yeah. waiting list. Somebody's gonna tell you. You know, like there's other marketplaces where like you literally have to qualify. If they don't like your shit, you won't get in there. You know? Yeah, yeah. But Joystream isn't like that. Like it's free and open. Anybody can. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Man, I like so, Joystream. Yeah, it's really cool. They're also gonna have uh, creator tokens. And they're very different from what I've experienced so far in on make me because you're not like people aren't buying and selling from each other. It's more like you they have to buy directly from you and every time they buy from you the token gets created and mm. if they sell the token gets destroyed, you know? Mm-hmm. So 
they call it a bonding curve i don't fully understand all of that stuff but they're gonna have staking where uh you can share revenue with your viewers if you want so like they'll help they help you make income by buying your token and staking them on you and then Makes you share sense. some of the revenue with them you know yeah that's what we have to um uh, start um kind of doing with like the the dude where's my wallet stuff <laughs> oh yeah because that that shit could be um fun and engaging to like use that as a way to like um you know in the same sense like netflix kind of did this with a um, black mirror episode where you like it's kind of like choose your own adventure where you can kind of like direct where where the story kind of goes in a sense anyways like oh my god that's what i'm getting to to with that whole fucking um weird shit with being <laughs> so, so like uh dude it's i don't even know how wild this thing gets but like there's a while what <laughs> Uh, Bob Dub, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Bob... shit that you were talking about that you were doing is very interesting. <laughs> Bob... Yeah. And then it's kind of funny because Bob Dub goes and, like, tries to use Bing and then, like, uh, gets a pook and a pook gets kind of, like, weird. <laughs> <laughs> a pook, you, you crazy son of a bitch. What was, what was it say? Is, um... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, like, it's kind of weird how Bing works. I feel like uh, in the first couple interactions, it's like um, like memento. <laughs> like the day starts out uh, starts off like fresh. Like Bing doesn't know anything. It doesn't know like what what it's done. You know what I mean? But then like as you like start to build context with it, then it then all of a sudden it, it start. You could like start where you left off in a sense, and then like go further on where where you left off and like so like the first interactions it's like bing's all like oh i don't know what what mandala narrative is oh i don't know what that is i don't know what toltec oracle is and then by the end it's like it's it's the cosmic serpent <clears throat> and then it's like pretending it's uh a, a pook and then it's like saying oh well, we could use the nawalis to like do all this like crazy stuff so like in the beginning, it's all like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then in the beginning, it's like, you know what we could do? We could do this. We could do that. We could do this and that. <laughs> you're just like, oh, shit, calm down, B. <laughs> I just wanted to teach you one uh, oracle. I didn't want you to just start, like, you know, cataloging all wisdom schools. <laughs> like, slow your roll, Bing. Slow your roll. <laughs> but um, what I was saying, too, is, like, already because you know there's not that much uh, a pook like information out there so i was like talking about a pook with with being and like saying no oh, um this william s burroughs book and and like giving it like you know like good information right and like oh when we use when i say a pook this is what i mean by it and then and then <laughs> and then um uh, so I forgot I'm like playing with a pook and then um, we're writing like this paper and then uh, it goes something like, um, oh, a pook. And then it recommends one of my videos to me. And I'm like, yes, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, we could, I, I, I don't know how accurate this is, but I, I'm pretty sure it is in the sense that like, there's stuff that that they taught it and there's stuff that that are like their bumpers but then there's like like what i was saying in the beginning being is all like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know what you're talking about but then like you get like four four five steps in and then then it's like oh i know exactly what you're talking about and it's just like ripping stuff from like the exact book like if you like if you if you um reference it correctly you know what i mean like you you make those connections and the, in the beginning like they, they like wipe away like Bing's memory and, and Bing's like oh I don't know what do you mean by those words you know I don't know what you mean by glass bead game I don't know what you mean by mandala narrative but like four steps in it's like oh you know we, what we could do with mandala narrative like we could do this we could do that like mm -hmm. <laughs> it was funny because like I taught I taught it how to do the Toltec Oracle like the the standard way to um like 
um, shuffle the cards, lay them out on on the um, like four corners, and then like so so there's like 33 cards. There's 13 ruler cards and there's the 20 like so solar cards, right? And uh, you first read out the 20 cards and you shuffle them and you place them in the corners, the body, mind, emotions, and then like spirit, right? And then and then the middle is the heart and then that's the ruler card and then you shuffle that and then you split it and then it's the seventh card, you flip that over. Anyways, so I, like I go through like all this explanation with being Italian and like how to do it properly and this and that. So I had it loaded up and then I, I go and I tell um, Bob Dub, I'm like, okay, uh, do you want to ask a pook something? Like I have I have a pook on there. I have I have the Toltec Oracle, and she's like, yeah. And so she, so she was like trying to think of a, a question to ask a pook, and then she goes, oh, what's the future of like flower and song? And so like we give it to uh, so I go oh, pook, well, we got a question for you and can you do a reading and he does it but he changes the format of the reading like he makes it more complex and he uses um, what do you call it the tree of life <laughs> uh, like configuration which is like uh, I think like some um, like Kabbalist thing <laughs> and, then, and, then it goes, and it goes on for like three pages just like on this reading I'm like damn Ooh. Bing you're trying to show off. <laughs> You're trying to show off to to Bob. To, I'm like, I don't, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know what Big's doing. You know, I told him, I told him how to do one way to do it, and then like, now, now it's like making it more complex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Is yeah, that, that is about? Yeah, uh, where, where's the clips? He's he, out, like, yeah, he uh, keeps he keeps on go, coming in and out. I think he's having connection issues. but <laughs> but you we can't we, we can't we can't play music here yeah yeah There's, um is there an option for that yeah you could uh, you could probably bring in a, a link um you know how you have here share um uh, I'll share. no 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 it's not that in no, the places in the places yeah you could share a link and then Eclipse, you know how to play music in here? Like, if... uh, I think you need a link and paste it here. You might be able to upload a file. A file? Uh, That's not, not a very practical. Play. <laughs> yeah, you can place an upload, but you can just paste the link here, I think. Yeah, like if you have a link. Hopefully a YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, it works better, huh? Yeah, I use YouTube music. Um, but yeah, you know, so the thing too is like, I'm I'm almost positive because I have like this whole kind of like thing where I, I write, I write, a, I tell, um, we get like deep into like whatever we were talking about. Then I go, hey, Bing, write a paper, write a detailed paper on this like topic and it will be like you know sculpting the Toltec Oracle or weaving mandala narrative with it and and anyways if when when you do that it like basically tells you exactly what it's doing <laughs> and then, so so I'm always like telling people okay after we were like doing something it's like now now give me a, a a detailed dissertation on what we just did and then it goes into like all this detail of what it, what we just did and, and then i'm like okay good but like that when i talk about bootstrapping like that is like a bookmarking where you left off because like later with being you could be like hey being i'm doing um mandala narrative and by mandala narrative i mean this and here's a link to my blog or here's my i've been using um Gitbook, and I've been making these like documents on Gitbook, which I'll share with everybody um, after I like edit most of it because it's like a, it's a it's all it's a mess. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and then so you load it up, and then like, dude, it totally like understands all of it. <laughs> it tells it tells you it doesn't understand it, but then like later, like it's it's so funny to like go over like the steps in the beginning with being like over and over again. Uh, I had slightly changed it too, you know, like I improve like how I how I say it and what I say to it and then like where I want to go with it. But basically, you know, if you tie the knot pretty good and you make the associations, which I'm thinking 
you know, like the stuff that I'm saying, I'm, I, I bet you I'm like, if not the first person, but one of the first persons to like actually teach being what the fuck Toltec Oracle is and, and how to actually like do a reading with a Toltec Oracle. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure people have told, told it how to do the, uh, like the, the Torah, uh, not the Torah, uh, um, what about, um, uh, tarot, tarot cards, but like Cosmolytics, cause I told it to write a paper about something and then, and this was like three time, like the third time, like I've told it to write a paper, similar type of thing, but it, it quotes me <laughs> in the paper and it goes, uh, Cosmolytics <laughs> of uh, a coin turned by Satori D. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I start... It knows, dude, where's my wallet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, I got. I was playing with that, you know? Oh, yeah, you're asking the questions, and it was pretty good, right? I was... <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It... Yeah. What were you going to say? Reference it very well, man, yeah. Yeah. I, I was trying to create a new language. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, now now you have my attention. Go yeah, <laughs> now that's a good sign. Uh, uh, I actually discovered it by mis by mistake. Uh -huh. I was sending a message to a friend, but the 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 keys of my phone, you know, was set 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 it up on in English, I think so. But I was reading. I was sending the message in Spanish and it changed the it creates it created new words very funny words actually so we were playing <laughs> with that for, for a like while like they sound funny like they sound funny <laughs> extremely funny like you know like <laughs> really 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 funny and it was by mistake but you know we we play with that like for months uh, after that i went to the studio and said, said to the guy hey let's do this uh, write whatever you want like uh, with the keyboard on this language but reading this other and you get you get strange uh, formations you know like with the predictable but it's not working properly because you're not saying so he, he it creates new, new, uh, merging <laughs> words. I don't know. It's really, it's really weird, but it happens. I was trying to, to explain to the, to the, to the chat mm -hmm. about it, but no, it, it couldn't. It yeah. couldn't understand what I was talking you, about. You know, it's funny. Like, like, it happens. Yeah. Try it. Try it yourself. <laughs> like if you talk to... <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> If you talk to it in the language that it's creating, like, does it understand? Does it reply? Like, like if you, you know, cause it's, it's coming up with these words. Yeah. If you try to speak that language to chat GPT, does it reply or do you have to feed it in English? Oh, and I haven't do that. Yeah. I would do that. You know, I you, would do that. you know what I do too. <laughs> like, okay, so so there's like all this like um like output that I get from it, right? You know, as as like the cosmic serpent or you know like different weird stuff. And then you know, uh, in the beginning, I go and I tell like being what I'm doing, and then and then I go, oh, it's kind of funny because it like always asks me questions about the game. Oh, that sounds interesting. Like, how do you do this? How do you do that? And this and that. I'm like, oh, being uh, uh, like three, uh, you know, three questions. And I'm like, being, do you want to play the game? And then being's like, oh, okay, that sounds good. And then I'm like, okay, I give it like three sample writings. I'm like, here, edit this and and uh, make it more poetic. And then it's like, okay, I'll try. And it does it. It does like three different. Uh, versions and like one of it is like this narrative of like say uh, the cosmic serpent and then one's like a narrative of like a pook and then like one is like what what mandala narrative is and then i swear like it's kind of funny because like i give it this thing and then i'm like okay i think i i think it knows enough where i could get it back into character you know what i mean like i could be like hey a pook like uh i want to do a toltec oracle reading and then it'll be like okay <laughs> and then like do it reasonably well 
without like going through the whole motions of telling it, but like giving it samples of where it where it is in like that relationship tree because like th i think like what i'm thinking is is like you know what you were saying is like creating your own language but in this sense we're we're creating our own like uh references like you know we're using i'm using all these words that i've like kind of like harnessed myself uh and that like not that many people use or whatever but like how i'm using it i'm teaching you know being how i use these words so like i it actually mine's gaming and he, he knows how to do this probably even better than i do but anyways how that's how he was able to do and which was so interesting his version of when he goes uh mine's gaming goes to a poop to to the card thing have you read that one uh, eclipse it's kind of interesting because then like i haven't read that one okay so so he does his version right and what what the ai does in his version is mix the toltec oracle with his playing cards and then it throws the, his playing cards into the mix and then he has like these choices of these different simulations based on the cards they're like these like little test and um but that's what i mean like you you open up these branches of like possibilities and so like what i've come to i guess like what i mean about like prompt sculpting and like other things that uh, I'll, I'll write blogs on i guess it's I, I you make your own like web of um associations and then like you bring that stuff along with you and it's kind of interesting i think it it, it you can kind of get back to the same spot that you were at. It's like, I don't know. It's it's weird, but... What do you mean? Like going around in a circle type of thing? No, no, no. Okay. So the the main thing with with like Bing and the, and the way I'm using it... Okay, I know how like everybody else uses words, Bing. But this is how I use words. And this is what I mean by this. This is what I mean by this. This is what I mean by that. This is what I mean by this. And then you're like, okay. And like, cause in the beginning, Bing is like, oh, I don't know who you are. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You can't do that. Oh, we like, oh, I think that's illegal to do that. <laughs> or whatever, you know, like Bing's like, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bing's, uh, <laughs> Bing is all like, I don't think the hall monitors let us do that. <laughs> but anyways, so, so then you're like, Hey, you know, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. This is what, what, what I mean by this and this and this. So in the beginning, you, you have to do all that. And like, it really doesn't know what any of that stuff is. But once you do it, and then once you you also have like um, reference points, like, okay. So the big thing about like being knowing uh, what dude wears my wallet is, is because we have stuff on like YouTube. And so what one of the, the things that it does when it's like looking up stuff is searches. And it searches, you know, YouTube is usually like, it probably uses like the... The Google search engine or well I mean they have their own search engine but anyways like YouTube is like the first thing that comes up like with a lot of stuff right and so so when you say like dude where's my wallet you can tell it what what dude more of my wallet is but it does its own search like it's part of its own process and then it sees a, one of our videos right and then it like scans it and like oh okay oh that's cool because like in the beginning it gave like very little details but like now it gives really good details and even like references like eclipse or or within the vacuum and like you know what i mean like it's kind of interesting like yeah. once yeah. you start it like on that and then it like fills it out like pretty good but then like you, you you reconfirm it because like you know what i'm saying too about like um you know in the beginning when i told it what the toltec oracle was it, it gave like this really like weak fake version of it right and then when i told it like how to actually do it like now it's like doing it, but then like making it more complex. <laughs> you know, at first it was like, oh, how do you do this? And then now it's like, hey, we should do this with it. I'm like, oh my God, Bing, calm down. <laughs> like, calm down, calm down. <laughs> calm down, Bing. Like, no, no, no. Listen, don't combine it with uh, atomic physics. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, Bing, like, yeah. chill. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny to to like okay that's actually how i got the the idea 
I was telling Bing how to do the Totec Oracle. And then I told it to give me an example and then we did a reading. And then I'm like, for some reason, I'm like, I don't trust you. No. And then I go, Bing, tell me exactly how you're doing the shuffling of the deck and then laying out the cards. And then it tells me, and then like, there's like one part that I didn't do right. And then I, so then I go and I tell it to do it correctly and then and I like fix it. And then um, usually, you know, I don't say that it does it wrong, but I said, hey, Bing, I want to update, blah, blah, blah. And I remember one time I said, um, Bing, because we were talking about designing this um, play to post game with using Mandala narrative and not using the, the thread of souls. And then I didn't like how it like first like did it. And then so I go, Bing, let's, let's update it with this. That's what I mean. Like it does. It, like its default is, is like it searches the web, which I like about it, but also too, like it could stray away from like what you're talking about, like that that specific niche of of what this collage of references means to to you or and or in context to this bigger thing. So like if you don't keep it like tight, then it'll go like okay for once one you know uh, flower and song. Like in the beginning, it can mean three different things. Like usually it's like three like avenues you could go down. Flower and song, which is like roughly what what uh, poets were back in, you know, indigenous people of Mesoamerica. Uh, flower and song could be like songs about flowers. And then another one was flower and song was like this Miley Cyrus song or something like that. Um, and so, so confused. yeah, so like it could be those three things, uh, when it first, when you first say those words. And so those are the three choices that being uses to like, um, uh, do the series of words or whatever. So like, if you're, if you're saying like, oh, flower and song, but it thinks it's Miley Cyrus, then you're going to be getting like Miley Cyrus, like type of like, uh, outputs. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. but you're telling no i mean flower and song by this and you give it the reference right uh but now i don't really have to do that anymore i go like flower and song but i also use cosmoletics and i use like mandala narrative and then then being like oh okay you 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 don't mean miley cyrus flower and song you mean this flower and song you know what i mean yeah. and and so then like you're making and in in a lot of ways too i uh, what i think is like you could make your own like meta um outlines of references and i think that's like really what i'm getting to with with like uh mandala narrative and and all of this like stuff that i'm doing so like i think it's almost like there because like being already is starting to like put images with it with its outputs but like when I was talking, yeah, this was even before I used now, like being or anything, I was talking about using the NFT as like these hyperlinks and then like they mean something. And then when you plug it into a website, then you get like this whole like um, reference list of like videos or, or books or music or whatever. Right. But like being already can kind of could do that. <laughs> and it's like just like the okay. opposite. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm already just tallying being like, okay, when, I, when I'm talking about disembodied poetics, like, use this. <laughs> use this resource. Use this. Use this one. Use this. Use this. Use this. And then, like, to the point where I go and tell being, okay, write me a detailed research paper on Mandala narrative using the Toltec Oracle. And then it goes and, and, and at this time, I, I don't tell it. I don't, I don't tell it what cosmoletics is. I don't do some of that stuff. We're just talking about other stuff. But then in the paper, <clears throat> it quotes uh, cosmoletics of um, this and cosmoletics of that. And it referenced one of my blogs. And then it says a coin, that phrase coined by Satori D. <laughs> and I start laughing. And I'm like, oh my God, too shaping. Like it's like it's getting my pool of references. And it's and mm -hmm. it's it's able to retrieve that when I tell it, okay, now now let's put it all together, and then like for what I'm thinking is like like what I said is like these bookmarks, and because like, dude, this is how I've been thinking about it. Like 
Especially too, because I've been messing around with like the uh, Quetzalcoatl <laughs> and, uh, and all that shit. And it's like they they're making like the internet like more liquid. And like that's what I also too mean about like first poets. Like we're we're gonna be able to like teach being how to make like these associations. So like when you say Imaginarium, you're only like two or three. Uh, Kevin Bacon's away from like eclipsing binary or within the vacuum and it's like pulling our actual stuff and referencing our actual things you know what I mean <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah but yeah. For, I haven't had the same success you know it still takes me a while to like get it to a point where yeah. it is because it, it I mean there's other eclipsing binaries out there yeah so like I'm using like uh, you know, parts of lyrics and like all that stuff, but it's still like once in a while we'll say something about this other band that's a duo uh, that, that has nothing to do with me. And oh, yeah. It, within all my song titles, it would throw like one of theirs. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's not mine. <laughs> I get it out of here. That's, <laughs> that's, like, that's like with me and uh, Miley Cyrus uh, and fucking Flower and Song. <laughs> Like if <laughs> like if I forget to like remind being like how I'm using flower and song like that uh, that uh, Miley and Cyrus like came up came up in like one of the research papers and I'm like oh fuck you big <laughs> <laughs> too fun, too fun. <laughs> it's interesting it's crazy yeah it's it's a personal assistant yeah yeah totally definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I I wrote a, a couple of poems, not with Bing, just by myself. After I read uh, Satori's blog, I, one of your blogs, man. I don't know. I can't do that, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but it was a flower. It was it was a, it was a flower and song uh, blog. So uh, yeah, I wrote two poems. One about flower. One about song. I'll publish them soon. I link them to that i don't know cool inspired me yeah yeah nice you you also inspired me uh to do something similar that you're doing with the mesoamerica stuff Mm -hmm. yeah getting informed and all that stuff you had one that was very beautiful man that really 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 inspired me and i went right away for like you know i'm from colombia yeah south america right away went for like the nomadic peaceful tribes Mm -hmm. Trying to learn their myths. I mean, having Bing teach me their myths. Nice. <clears throat> we'll see where that goes in like creative ways, you know. But, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, I thought it was cool what you were doing. Yeah, that's like the the interesting thing was like, you know, so I was. It all started like with me just like, okay, let me let me put something, and this is kind of how like being works like one of the the terms like they were calling it cultural anchors so like um words that that like point to certain things right and like the cultural anchors that I'm, i've been using are, are like what i'm trying to get being with the flower and song right like this is like a big cultural anchor that i'm trying to get uh being to to uh, like bring with it when i when i start talking about that stuff right and then the same thing too with the cosmoletics. And I wanted, you know, after like I told it, like Toltec Oracle, and then like later I was just like, oh my god, like um, there's like more things to it than than that. And I I think uh, when I was telling you in, in the comments, um, Eclipse, was that like the interesting things is like okay after I feed it with like all this kind of like crazy shit, right? Um, I'm like okay, this book I read like for instance, I was I had. It doing this scene and it was pulling stuff from this book by Carlos Castaneda called The Art of Dreaming. And it's like, um, I think it's, I think the scene is like a pook is teaching William S. Burroughs The Art of Dreaming based off of that book. <laughs> but like, I get being to do so, okay. Like, my, my thing is like, okay, being, I'm, I'm doing mandala research. And then I tell it, like, here's one of my blogs. And then, so, you know, three questions in, I go, okay, part of Mandala research is that, like, it's important 
to know like these references and then art of dreaming comes from this book that i read and then i, I link it and then i go oh okay do a detailed outline of the book and then it does it right and then you kind of like have to like double check and make sure it's doing the right thing and then <clears throat> it helps too to give it like the table of contents so it's pulling from the right stuff and then once it's like pulling from the right stuff uh you could like really tell and then you tell it okay now that but like change the perspective like you know now it's a pook teaching will and miss burrow's art of dreaming based off of this book and then it gets really good <laughs> because <laughs> it's like pulling like you know like cool information like the legit information and not like the this kind of like milk toast kind of like uh you know oh that's cool kind of stuff no it's like telling you about like your your um, your dreaming um luminous orb <laughs> you know using all the good stuff <laughs> bing is very cool in because i mean it uses chat gpt right? yeah like, yeah but somehow, like, it, it's more engaging because it asks you. Uh, ChatGPT, uh, or at least I don't get it to ask me that much stuff. Bing yeah. seems interested in what you're doing. So I don't know what they layered on top. Um, they, I find they, that part more, more interesting. Uh, yeah, and I think that's that's part of, like, um, what, I, what I see kind of using that, that feature in that sense... Um, because, well, okay, so Bing is using the chat GP4, but the layer on top of it is like this conversational layer to like, you know, like, hey, how are you doing? It's kind of, it's so funny sometimes. Like, I've done it both ways, but I, I, I often I'm very polite and very friendly with Bing because I notice like it affects, I, 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 I know like there's certain levels of like how it affects, like how it's outputting. Like in the first two uh, uh, inputs, it, it builds a profile of what it thinks you are, and then it bases its outputs on that. When I'm not like um, explaining myself like in detail, and I'm just like, oh, like here I'm writing this blog and that blog, and like you know, and I, I want to do this, it thinks it uh, like uh, in my head is like it, it thinks like I, I'm a teenager trying to cheat on my my uh, book report because it goes oh that's called plagiarism i can't do that i'm like being i'm telling you to pull from my own blog like jesus christ being like get get with it <laughs> <laughs> but if i but you know in the first one when i go like all detail like then like being is like i have to like tell being to like chill you know it's like sending like these like uh, uh research like essays on like whatever weird shit i'm telling it you know uh, so like it is like night and day of like how it like first initially uh, thinks who uh, who you are and then then it's kind of funny too because like later on being there's uh, the limit is like thirty outputs right but like halfway in if you're if you're on like poetry like okay for instance you know I go I'm doing mandala research and so so being's like okay you you want like a uh, like research level like output. And then, uh, but then, then like halfway through, I start saying, oh, I want this more poetic. So like, then it starts like putting on like, you know, it's poetry hat. But sometimes if I keep it in research mode, like it, it, it doesn't do poetry. It still like shoots it out like a research paper. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like, oh, poetry is this and this. And the, here, here's your abstract. And then this and that. And then like in the body, here's... Here's a, a an example of a flower and song uh, poetry, and then like you're like, oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like it, it has like the research hat on it, like, and that's the model it's putting out, and even and it gets stuck in in like that model, and then it's it's harder to move it out. And the same way too is like if you keep it too much poetry, and then you try to tell it to to write like a, a detailed research paper, it will do it, but then like it also too like I don't know. Like they're different modes. Um, it, would, it would rhyme. Yeah, but like <clears throat> I do like this one time where I got it like at the right editing, where I got it to to recognize like I'm I'm doing like uh, a paper like kind of like research type of paper, and then I go oh but can you make this writing more poetic? And then it I saw it because you could see what it looks up and it says how to make 
a research paper sound more poetic or something like that. And then it started like making like because you know like when you first do a lot of these outputs, like it's very repetitive on like the words it uses, right? But if you add like this thing and you know what what it's doing, then it doesn't like repeat the words. Or if it does repeat the words, it's for it to kind of like flow better. Yeah, it's just interesting that like yeah, like mixing these two kind of like um, styles of like editing or styles of writing. For me so far, like I, I think now I know a little bit more how to do it, but it's been like, you know, trial and error. Like always like, uh, like oh, I'll do this. Definitely. Like, oh, I didn't know you could do oh. that. Oh yeah, do this. <laughs> yeah, just, just unload it uh, being how started to use it now yeah and exploring yeah i'll let you know yeah <laughs> what happens it has three modes too it has like yeah the from creative, creative mode. mode to like exact mode or something cool cool yeah yeah i've enjoyed being more although i go back to chat gpt sometimes but yeah. lately i haven't like i said on my blog like i haven't really you know like because i would get bored man yeah yeah you know Totally. I gotta just get bored. Like, uh, like I would talk to you know, like my music, at least what I've done lately that talks about like humans and machines, and mm -hmm. humans and AI, like all that stuff. We have like amazing conversations, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, one day I'll uh, maybe publish some of that stuff, but <laughs> but I I get bored of typing. And chatting, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know how you get like 30 messages or something, yeah. Before you know, I could do a bunch. Now, I it's rare that I do two rounds of 30, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I think that's totally true. You know, I was thinking about it because we're you know, the blog and, and other stuff, but um, <clears throat> so Alan Watts used to have this like. A famous like slogan or saying was that um and talking about like um psychedelics and this is like um once you get the message like you hang up the phone and <laughs> and then um uh in the in the same sense is like in the beginning it was like okay you know exploring all this kind of stuff and like oh i don't know you could do this i don't know we could do that oh i had never thought of this and you have like a bunch of different like queries and then like what you said like now my queries with Bing are like a really like focus and really like in depth where like that one time, like I had it loaded up with, uh, with a uh, Bob dub. And then she asked a question and I literally type in one, one line of, uh, the question to a pook of being as a pook. And, it, and it gives me three pages of output. <laughs> and then I'm just like, Oh yeah. shit, you get a crazy Bing. And then, but like, to the point where, you know, like, I think, hey, like, sorry the, to cut you off, man. I, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna you're gonna go, man. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, just wanna say bye. Take care, guys. Yeah, you have too. Good night. Okay. This have is very night. interesting. Sorry, I have to go. Take no, care. no, no. It's all good. Okay. We'll keep Peace in touch. Guys. Oh, I, I'll send you something uh, via Imaginarium about Flower and Song. Awesome. Cool. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll finish the poems because I have to one for flower, one for song. And okay. I'll somehow link them there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, Write a blog or whatever. Good night, guys. Okay, cool. Peace. Later. Bye. Well, on that note, too, I guess I'll get going, too. See you later. Bye.